I know you're not talking to me like that. Little girl, please. Okay, ladies, you know the rules. Three, two, one, go! Ah, my arm! My arm, I think I broke it. Ow. Do you want me to call the ambulance? Uh, yeah, I can't even walk. Uh, well, I'll get her. <laughs> break your arms arm wrestling so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some blood work and see what's going on okay okay I told you it was broken as you can see here in front of the trachea is the thyroid gland behind the thyroid gland there's four parathyroid glands the parathyroid gland uh, secretes parathyroid hormone, which then is going to activate bone cells called osteoclasts to break down bone to release calcium into the blood, which explains why you have elevated calcium levels. You can have two types of hyperparathyroidism. There can either be primary or secondary. And the pr In primary hyperparathyroidism, you'll have a tumor on the parathyroid glands. It can be on one or it can be on all four of them. In secondary hyperparathyroidism, you have kidney failure, which causes the parathyroid glands to secrete more parathyroid hormone. The next step is determine which type of hyperparathyroidism you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you to CT, we're going to get a CT of your parathyroid glands and also your kidneys, and we're also going to do a urine analysis. So we're going to get you to pee in a cup, and we're going to check your kidney function, and we're also going to see whether or not you have any kidney abnormalities. We checked your scans and it turns out you have a tumor on one of your parathyroid glands. A tumor? Yes, a tumor. But don't worry, it's not cancerous. So all we have to do is go in surgically and we'll just remove it. Well, when are we going to do that? We can actually go ahead and do it today. So we'll get you ready for surgery and we're going to go ahead and cast up your arm so that way your bone can heal. Oh. 